know that I am an American Airman. I'm an aerospace medical technician. I'm a security force specialist. I am in charge of shipping and receiving. And I provide important information to pilots and sensor operators in the RPA community. I'm the NCOIC of dental services here at Horsham Air National Guard Base. And I'm a pilot on the MQ-9 Reaper aircraft. I am a aerospace medical technician. I'm the commander of the 111th Security Forces Squadron. My grandfathers were all in the Air Force and the Navy. My sister actually, who is five years younger than I, she went through basic training. It was just something I really wanted to do to, you know, instill discipline in myself. And I decided what better way to continue that family legacy than to enlist in the United States Air Force. Um, we had only three females out of a squadron of 300. I was the only woman and I was a senior ranking. I was in charge of a lot of folks. In the beginning I was very shy and very quiet. Um, I kept to myself and just did my job. I became very close with some of my um, co-workers here and I know that they would have my back. And I learned that nobody is going to get through the big machine by themselves. You know, it's not, it's more than a job, it's family as well. And there's always support. And once you do that and overcome your, your shyness or, you know, not being so outspoken, it really gives you a different personality and it builds your character. The jet doesn't care if you're a man or a woman. The jet doesn't care if you're tall or if you're short. The jet doesn't care about your race or your religion. All the jet cares about is that you know how to fly it. As a medical professional, I'm able to help many people, hopefully all over the world. I like knowing that I make a difference every day and that everybody else is safe and secure because of me. Like there continues to be more opportunities for females that it flourishes across the board in the guard and you have every opportunity to take advantage of that. To hold the same job as a male, be thought of as the same, and even get paid the same as a male in the military I think is a great accomplishment. I appreciate the work of the WASPs from the past if it weren't for them. I wouldn't have a chance to prove that I could do the same job as any other man. And it's just an amazing feeling knowing that I'm here because other women took the stand and broke the stereotypes for me to be where I'm at. We definitely still have to continue to make strides and um, make sure that females have a voice in the military is extremely important. We're all part of a team to make, make the, the Air Force the best Air Force that's out there. And this is a sisterhood. It's definitely a sisterhood. You better believe that this is a sisterhood. <laughs>